Okay, we're going to get started on using artboards in Adobe Experience Design or Adobe um, XD. So when you um, open up um, Adobe XD, you'll be presented with the welcome panel. At the top, it will have um, a number of um, preset projects or project templates. Um, you can click on the little down arrow here to open up other um, phone types they have most of the popular ones there and again tablet ones and also you can open up um, a number of set standard um, website um, sizes and they're all in pixels or you can create your own custom size so first of all we'll just come in here and we'll click on a, an iPhone 6 or 7 you click on that and what it will automatically do is give you an artboard so that artboard is already um, set up for you you've got the dimensions over here so it's setting up as 375 to 7 um, sorry 667 so it's set those sizes up if for example they're not creating the size assets that you wish you can um, make uh, the artboard bigger by manually just typing in um, a new size so you can come up here and say for example if I typed in say 500 uh, pixels it will just make it bigger so you you know you do have control over it and also you can lock it up here and certainly do that proportionally so if I typed in a bigger size say 500 here it would then proportionally um, scale um, both the um, the height and the width um, the same to keep all the proportions the same okay so um, I will just take that back to the 375 and once you've got that that's your artboard now you can move the artboard around the pasteboard the gray area if you wish it's got the name up here now if that's not the name you want and ideally you, you know you need to rename it um, over here on the this panel on the left if you go down the bottom where the bottom of the tools are you'll see it has the layers icon and that will give you an outline of your artboards. We've only got one at the moment. Now I can just click up here and you know I can call it home or landing screen. Have it something that is meaningful and you'll see it will change up here. Now what you can do with artboards is you can duplicate an artboard. A number of different ways you can um, certainly duplicate but certainly if I click on here um, where it's got the home and I hold down the alt key I can just drag out that artboard and it duplicates it and again I can do the same again and drag them out and these spaces here where they flash um, a pinky color will tell you that the um, the gaps are equal so they're both 65 pixels and I can let go and again what you would do is you can come along here and name them so I can name them to, for, for something meaningful to match what the screens are and again if you're doing you you know, certainly you're making assets that are going to be coded up or you're working collaboratively it's important that you know the assets have meaning um, of what you're calling things so sometimes you have to have a naming protocols that you use yourself or that you work in an environment where your colleagues also use those naming protocols so um, it does have to have meaning and also you know you need to stick to some consistency now we have um, these set up I'll just uh, rename this uh, home one up here to just call it home okay now what you can do is you can rearrange the artboard so I could move them around to different positions and if I come in here you can change them if you don't like those positions you can move them around to any position you want them to be I breathe those in and if I come up here I'm waiting for it to say flash pink and that means they're all equally distributed it just keeps it uh, nice and neat okay so what you can do is make artboards that have different sizes on the pasteboard so you would be doing this say for example if you're making something for an ipad or a, a tablet or, or, or certainly um, a smart watch you might want to have um, the design presented 
um, for those different outputs. Now what you would do is you can go certainly to the artboard tool which is on the left here or you can press A on your keyboard and that will select it. Okay, once I've selected the artboard tool, I can maybe go over here where it's got all the uh, properties for the different sizes and maybe I click here on the watch and it'll set one up. If I now with that selected click again, it will just give me um, another screen to match that. So um, that's how you would just, just duplicate up your different screens. Um, also with the artboard, you can drag out um, an artboard to any size you want and then you as we did before you can customize that to um, the dimensions that that you want it to be so on your pasteboard you can have a a great variety of different size screens um, on the where you can have um, different outputs different sizes you can use the templates or you can override them if you wish now um, you will need to name them all appropriately uh, and that's what you will need to do to make sure they're all named. Also, uh, what you can do is you can also put content outside an artboard. Um, so that would be um, to actually give information um, to maybe colleagues um, who you're working with so I can click on the text tool and maybe I can give some information here. So you can have information that actually sits outside of the artboards. These are really what will appear on your screens when you export them. But also you can have other information on here as a guide and you can set those things up certainly any way you would want. So if I did that, I could have a background to that. Um, say I had some sort of panel that had some information on it. And if I give this a color over here, like that, not a very nice color. Um, but what you can do is you'll see here it's on the pasteboard. So it recognizes items that are not in an artboard and that are actually loose on the pasteboard. And I can rearrange that. So that's how you would move the layers around. So again, if I come back here, here's all the artboards. I double click here on my pasteboard that is behind that panel there and I can put that here and I can then put information uh, on there. So information would be just information that would be associated with each of those screens for a fellow designer or for a developer who is um, going to code up this um, UI. So um, if I come back here, all pasteboards, once you get information on them, um, sorry, all artboards, once you put information on them, I'll put a shape. So I go up here and put the ellipse tool and say I want to do in the home screen, I will just hold Alt and Shift and that will allow me to um, scale from the center and keep it constrained. I can go over here and I can go in the properties and fill that in. Then I get the select tool. I can move that around. So there it's certainly highlighted that artboard. If I come back here, you'll see certainly um, to do with the home. When I open up the home, um, it will give a focus on it. So it will appear. So when I double clicked on the, and then I can select the item. So the layers will always appear inside the artboards and you can group those layers um, in folders if you wished, um, depending on what you're going to do. So if I want to come along and say, I'll get another shape and I'll put that here. Um, if I select both of those items and maybe I want to group them, and I say group, you will see when you create a group um, on an artboard or anywhere else, it'll create a, a group and that folder will be inside that. So that's a good way of certainly organizing your, um, what's on each of your artboards, make sure you need know, group things and you can actually switch off those uh, layers or groups however you want to. I'll click on there, it'll expand it. Um, again, just to recap, if you want to move around your pasteboard, um, you'd hold the space bar and move around your your or your artboards around the space board, um, 
pasteboard and zoom in. Also, you can zoom um, in and out. If you're using um, an Apple Mac, you do Command and um, plus, minus, or you would use control plus minus if you're using Adobe Experience Design on a Windows PC. So that's really just getting used to using artboards. They're pretty simple. Um, you, do, you can move them around on the pasteboard anywhere you want. Usually lay them out neatly, make sure you name them. You can have other supporting information that can sit underneath each of um, your artboards to give information certainly you can see that when you open up the project um, example which we did in in the um, number two of these tutorials to give guidance and clarity to the documentation of your project